I'm Fred DeVito. I'm 54 years old. And welcome to my home, our home. Welcome to your kitchen. Fred, now, wait, let me just, I'm, I'm doing a food thing here. What, let's tell everybody what you do first of all. Okay, so I'm Executive Vice President of Exhale and co-creator of Core Fusion. And what is Core Fusion? With me and my perfect wife, Elizabeth Halfpap, we teach exercise and lifestyle and health for a living. We have the best job in the world. Fred, let me see your 54-year-old abs if you don't. Look at this. Now, look at this. All oh, right. stop. Fred. Oh, she's you, embarrassing you, me. Okay, what do you, do you do lift weights? Tell me well, about no, it. I do things like this, Trace. Like we get, we use our own body weight for resistance and we pull in and we move. Oh my God, look at this. We do stuff like that. Now you do that and you eat this? Uh, yes, and not only that, but look, come over here. What? Look at the eggplant tapenade from. Fred's this. Italian. Fred, what's your heritage? Tell us. You're from Not where? just Italian, Roman, mm. Sicilian, and, and Napolitan. My grandparents are from the old country, and they taught me the art of the garden, which we'll show you later. But this is from the garden. This is eggplant, cherry tomatoes, garlic, vir virgin olive oil, red hot pepper seeds, all cooked up together in a tapenade, which we'll mix today with quinoa, very oh, healthy, healthy protein, healthy. right? And then salad from the garden, which I just picked this morning. Tomatoes, which we'll slice up and serve with basil from the garden. We got it all Look here. At this. And Red sauce man. Yes, and like the Italian thing to do with the let with the lettuce when you're having it with fish is we mix it with extra virgin olive oil and lemon, salt and pepper. So Fred, talk to you about something. How can people out there because we I mean and you must hear this like all day in your in your work. How can people eat like this really well? It, it's not totally unbanning. Mm hmm Got the bread, guys. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a wine. Fred. Fred likes good wine, right? Sure. Local wines, Local of course. Wine. Cheese. Reggiano, Parmesan. How can you do this and have a six pack like this and be 54 years old and be in good health? Keeping my metabolism up with strength training exercise is the key because when my metabolism is up, this body's a furnace and I burn calories and I have energy. I teach 15 classes a week at my age and also run a corporation of 18 properties. So Liz and I are constantly in motion. We travel a lot, we entertain, we eat well. And it's a little bit of everything. For us, it's about the balance. It's about the balance of lifestyle exercise, which is our type of class where we do this three to four hours a week to keep the metabolism up, to keep the joints lubricated, the muscles, you know, where you can move and stretch and bend and twist and do all the things you love to do and then fuel it with great food. What's the biggest misconception about exercise, joints, age, and all of that together? What, what, I mean, like, what, what do you think people do wrong? Because yeah. you, you see a lot of people hobbling and wobbling in the hips yeah. and knees and joints. And what's Well, the... you know, Trace, that's such a great question because I, I sometimes lose sleep over trying to help people over these hurdles. And what I see is people are just too competitive with their bodies and they think sport is their exercise. So they're weekend warriors. They go out, they play tennis, they play golf, they run, they go to marathons, whatever, and they end up on physical therapy tables Monday through Friday. Instead, exercise that helps flexibility, range of motion, muscle density, core strength, so that you have functional fitness to do all the things you like to do in life without injuring yourself. That's the key. And not so much cardio, which pounds your joints sometimes. So why is it everything cardio, 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 cardio? Because you break a sweat and you get your wind up and you feel like you're actually doing something, but you don't increase your muscle density when you do cardio. Per se, of course, there are extremes, but when you have the muscle density, you have the engines. I think, how many calories am I burning? Not in the one hour I'm doing my cardio, but round the clock, 24 seven. I want a furnace here so that I can eat and enjoy life. And how do you do this as you age? What would, what would you say? If how would you, how do you advise people to, you know, not just at 54, but you know, yeah. so when I walk in this kitchen at 64, you've still got the thing. The thing yeah. the, I mean, like, it's like, how do you keep that? Oh, right. cause the people I see in your class all have, I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them, there's like 70 year old women with kick ass bodies. You're right. And they've been exercising with us for 20 some odd years. It's like whatever you do in your twenties shows in your thirties and on and on and on. This is lifestyle exercise. This is working with wisdom and not ego. This is working on the things in class that you need, not doing the things you're good at, like going to a gym and pumping weights and doing all the things that you're good at, not coming to a place like Core Fusion and working on flexibility exercises that maybe you look a little foolish. 
And that's what keeps most people out of a class. They're worried about how they're going to look. But I'm telling you, the lifestyle exercises are the ones that increase your youthfulness and vitality. And how about what do you say to men? Because a lot of men will say, oh, that's like a chick workout. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But we have some devoted men, and you can see it. In the class, sometimes we have 10 men, and more and more are coming. More men are understanding the need to do yoga, Pilates, which is our core fusion class. It's a blend of that plus the Lottie Burke style stuff. When you start to work on that and you start to feel a difference, you're set for life. You'll understand that's what you need to do. What's the minimum people really have to do? Because I'll talk to people and they go, oh, I go to the gym twice a week. I go, really? Yeah. Well, you know, it depends on what you do on the other days. If you have an active lifestyle where you're taking stairs instead of elevators, where you're walking more than sitting, where you're up and around, and if you're active, that's, a, that's good. Active lifestyle is great. Structured exercise, three times a week should be what everyone should target as a minimum. As a minimum? As a minimum. And max, seven. Well, we have people who come six, seven days a week. Listen to your body, and when you need to rest, you rest. You shouldn't be coming because you feel, oh my God, if I don't come, I'm going to get fat. Let's just address the people who are watching this who don't live near an exhale studio. What, what is your advice to them in terms of how to find the right? Because I find a lot of people will start an exercise program and then they give up because they don't like it. It's yeah. not. What, I mean, what's the? What are the three tips to keeping it? It's not just starting exercise, because people do start it, mm -hmm. but they stop it. Yeah. Well, I how do you just make it a part of your life? I think sometimes people embark on the journey by setting too high of a goal. I'm going to exercise every day. You're going to lose it if you try that. Three times a week, shoot for that. Put it on your calendar. Put it in your date book as a necessary appointment that you're not going to take other appointments around. This is sacred time. This is me time. This is time that I'm investing in my health and my well-being. And if you do that for a month, you'll see that you can't live without it. And then you might go that fourth time a week. And you'll start to do a lot of the exercises on your own, even when you're 10 minutes. If I'm here at the counter, for me just to do a few of these, you know, while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I just, I'm active, you know, like I could, I could just stand here and just, because, you know, I want to feel my muscles. I love how it feels when they're working. And when you start to get that kind of a, of a mindset, it, it really truly becomes a lifestyle. And then you can yeah. eat. And how many days, how many times a day can we eat? Like, well, this is all healthy. So yeah. it's salmon, a superfood. Yeah. It's so it's just a little bit of bread. But, I mean, you know, last night we had pizza and beer. You Did know? you? Absolutely. Absolutely. And a bowl of pasta fagioli from my favorite place in town, the pizza place, <laughs> with Jed. And you know, the, I, but everything in moderation. Today we'll eat a little more lean because last night was a carb load. So we consider the whole big picture and 80% of the time we're clean, 20% of the time we cheat. And life is good. So three quick pieces of advice for people from 50 to 70 mm -hmm. so they can look awesome. Yeah. And feel awesome. More well, importantly, feel awesome. Right. If you're a person who doesn't like exercise at all and it, it just like freaks you out to think about putting on an exercise outfit and going into a class, then I would recommend to find something personal that you can do on your own that you love. Put on your headphones and go take a long, brisk walk. Start with that. Do that three or four times a week. And then from there, get some exercise DVDs where you can learn some basic moves to work your core and basic moves to stretch out so you don't have a backache. ExhaleSpot.com, the Core Fusion DVD series, broken down for all levels where you can do this stuff. And then maybe after that, you'll feel more comfortable going to take a class somewhere and find a teacher, not just an instructor who barks out how many you should do. Find a teacher who knows how to build a progression and take you from where you are to help you grow into other levels of fitness. Well, Fred, well, you've changed my life and you've changed my body, and now you're going to change my day because I want to eat all this. Manja. <laughs> yes, we're going to have a fun meal. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, everyone.